part 20. Um, the battery was going to go, so that's why I had to stop. So it's still flashing, so it might stop all of a sudden, but I just want to complete this. Uh, list some things which the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, encouraged. He encouraged in visiting people, kindness to the young and to your wife, creating care for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creations, keeping a promise, being punctual, washing your hands when you eat, brushing your teeth, looking after, after looking away if you see evil, while seeking Allah's protection. Practice and be fit, moderate eating, don't eat too much, moderate pure speech, don't talk too much, speak the truth, the honesty, trustworthiness, and more. We can find more if we research more. Name three prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi Nabi Ibrahim, Nabi Yusuf, Nabi Zakaria, Nabi Yahya, Nabi Isa alayhi salam. Isa alayhi salam. Okay, I'm going to just have to stop this before it goes completely open and I haven't got a recording. Name some of the wives of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Khadija rahmatullahi Aisha rahmatullahi wa Su'ada, Su'ad, Su'ada, rahmatullahi wa Zainab, rahmatullahi and some, and some more. Now, you see here, yeah, I've also like tried to, to cover some history. And um, so it's quite an extensive a little bit of work that I've done. Um, and uh, so why is it necessary for us to be clean in body, clothes, thoughts, places and actions? Allah SWT loves cleanliness and guides the clean ones to success. Shaitan cannot affect people who are clean in body, clothes, thoughts, mind, speech, places and actions. Satan can only influence people who, who are who either are dirty in mind, body, clothes, thoughts, actions, places. He, 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 he can only affect people when they are dirty in any way. So that's why Allah wants us to be clean because Satan, Satan is then kept away. Satan loves un, uncleanliness and he guides towards ugly, unclean and bad things which leads to failure or one loss. So that's the reason why you must be clean. It's not just, you know, a fashion or whatever. The reason is to keep Shaitan away from us. Name some of the actions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala encourage us to do and stay clean and happy. Istinja, seeking protection from Allah, that is to wash ourselves from harm, sickness and evil by cleaning ourselves properly when we go to the toilet. Wudu, washing exposed parts to prepare for salah, and Quran recital and tawaf. In Ghusl, the complete necessary bath if we had a wet dream or after married, after married people had sex, after menstruation, or optional baths, or optional baths when in days of celebration such as Eid, Juma, and Ramadan, and so on. Okay. In, there's some Arabic match the correct words. Sunnah, what does Sunnah mean? Sunnah, one goes with A, it means like duties or things that Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa did. No, sorry. It doesn't A, that is Q. A, one, one goes with Q. No, uh, it's G. It's cut over the bottom. G, a practice of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa So a Sunnah is a practice of the Prophet. Makru. Makru, Makru. Two goes with F. F is hated. Not liked. Mustahab. Three goes with C. Loved. Then Faraid. Four goes with A. Is a duty. What what must do? It's important to do. Farad. Obligatory. Wudu. Wudu goes with is number five. Five goes with B. Washing exposed parts for. For, for preparation of salah, etc. Then, masah, masah. Six goes with D, D is ma massage, massage. So you see the word massage come from an Arabic word. Then adhan is a call. E, call to salah. 
Okay, which answers are correct? Choose the correct word in other words. Islam, peace and submission, they are both correct. Iman, belief in faithful, they are both correct. Then Mu'min, a reliable believer, a trustworthy believer, they are both correct. And then Muslim, although I give, and then a Muslim believer in Islam, believer in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or an acceptor of Islam, or the last two. So, the last two. So, believer in Islam, believer in Allah, acceptor of Islam, it's the same thing. All of them can actually go, can be translated as correct. Oh, now ask this the main parts of Salah, the arkans of Salah. So here yeah, I listed for you, it's the intention, raising raising the hands, standing up, the qiyam, the niya, the takbiratul ikhram, the reciting of Surah Fatiha, the ruku, the bowing, the pausing between ruku, uh, the tama'niya, tama Tama'ni'na, which is the ruku, and then the and then the the rising up from the ruku, the itidal, then pausing and standing after rising from the ruku, the first sujud is all the farad parts, is all the farad parts, eh? the main parts. Pausing in the first sujud, sitting between the sujud, the second sujud. The pausing in the second sujood, the final sitting, the kun, the 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 qurud, and then the tashahud, which is testifying the tahiyya, asking for the blessings from the for the prophet, the first salam, and then the proper sequence of the salah. Those are the eighteen parts which is the farad of the salah. What breaks the salah? Turning the chest out of the qibla. That breaks the salah. Eating and drinking, speaking. Three acts in succession, crying aloud and thinking blasphemous thoughts. So, uh, list, uh, this is on Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu life. It is, uh, uh, you have to match his birth, number one, goes with K. Where's K now? K, K. The 2nd of August, 517 right. AD, okay, after the ascension of Rabbi Muhammad Isa. Then his mother and father's names, this is just a quick history, number two, number two goes with M, and M, 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 Amina Rahmatullah Adaya is his mother and Abdullah was his father. Then grandfather and uncle's names. Okay, that is number three is T. T, Abdul Muttalib and Abu, and Abu Talib. His first wife, four, C, Khadija Rahmatullah Adaya. Uh, his children, number five, I, Qasim, Tahir, Fatima, Zainab, Raqaya, Um Kulthum, and then Rahmatullahi. Uh, then the cave he spent nights in, 7B, uh, the cave he spent in 1996 is Jai. Jai, 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 Jai. Hira, Hira. The cave of Hira. The angel who brought the first message, uh, that is number 8. It will be G. G, 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 G. Jibirina, alayhi salam. Then number nine, the first eight Muslims. Number nine, D. D, 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 D. Hadija, Abu Bakr, Zayd, Ali, Uthman, Talha, Zubair, Abdurrahman. Interesting. 
जी 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 ओके द फर्स्ट मुस्लिम स्टेट माइग्रेटेड और मूव्ड नंबर टेन ए ए मूव्ड टू एबसिनिया इन अफ्रीका 